Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Morning Scriptures. We are on Numbers chapter 7 today, so we are going to get reading, and it is titled, Offerings at the Tabernacle's Consecration. On the day when Moses had finished setting up the tabernacle and had anointed and consecrated it with all its furnishings and had anointed and consecrated the altar with all its utensils, the chiefs of Israel, heads of their father's houses, who were the chiefs of the tribes, who were over those who were listed, approached and brought their offerings before the Lord, six wagons and twelve oxen, a wagon for every two of the chiefs, and for each one an ox. They brought them before the tabernacle. Then the Lord said to Moses, Accept these from them, that they may be used in the service of the tent meeting, and give them to the Levites, to each man according to his service. So Moses took the wagons and the oxen and gave them to the Levites. Two wagons and four oxen he gave to the sons of Gershon according to their service. And four wagons and eight oxen he gave to the sons of Merai according to their service under the direction of Ithamar the son of Aaron the priest. But to the sons of Kohath he gave none, because they were charged with the service of the holy things that had to be carried on the shoulder. And the chiefs offered offerings for the dedication of the altar on the day it was anointed, and the chiefs offered their offering before the altar. And the Lord said to Moses, They shall offer their offerings, one chief each day for the dedication of the altar. He who offered his offering the first day was Nashan, the son of Amadab, the tr of the tribe of Judah. And his offering was one silver plate, whose weight was a 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, and one male goat for a sin offering. And for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five lambs a year old. This was the offering of Nishan, the son of Amon Adab. On the second day, Nethanel, the son of Zuar, the chief of Issachar, made an offering. He offered for his offering one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb, a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five ram, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Nathanael, the son of Zuar. On the third day, Eliab, the son of Helon, the chief of the people of Zebulon, his offering was one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of ten shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram from one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Eliab, the son of Helon. On the fourth day, Eleazar, the son of Shadur, the chief of the people of Reuben, his offering was one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five ram, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Eleazar, the son of Shador. On the fifth day, Sh Shelemiel, the son of Zershadai, the chief of the people of Simeon, his offering was one silver plate, whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of ten shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, 
one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five ram, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Shalemiel, the son of Sir Shaddai, on the sixth day, Elisha, the son of Duel, the chief of the people of Gad, his offering was one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels. According to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering. One golden dish of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb, a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Elisphat, the son of Duel. On the seventh day, Elishama, the son of Amahad, the chief of the people of Ephraim, his offering was one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. Both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Elishama, the son of Amada. On the eighth day, Gamaliel, the son of Pedazur, the chief of the people of Manasseh, his offering was one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full a fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of ten shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five ram, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Gamaliel, the son of Pedazor. On the ninth day, Abaddon, the son of Gedani, the chief of the people of Benjamin, his offering was one silver plate, whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb, a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Benjamin. On the tenth day, Azair, the son of Amashadai, the chief of the people of Dan, his offering was one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of 10 shekels full of incense, one bowl from the herd, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Ahazir, the son of Amashadai. On the eleventh day, Pegel, the son of Akron, the chief of the people of Asher, his offering was one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. Both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five ram, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Pejil, the son of Akron. On the twelfth day, Ara, the son of Enan, the chief of the people of Naphtali, his offering was one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Aara, the son of Enon. This was the dedication offering for the altar on the day when it was anointed from the chiefs of Israel, twelve silver plates 
12 silver basins, 12 golden dishes, each silver plate weighing 130 shekels, and each basin 70. All the silver of the vessels, 2,400 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. The 12 golden dishes full of incense weighing 10 shekels apiece, according to the sh shekel of the sanctuary. All the gold of the dishes being 120 shekels. All the cattle for the burnt offering, 12 bulls, 12 rams, 12 male lambs a year old, with their grain offering and 12 male goats for a sin offering and all the cattle for the sacrifice of peace offerings, 24 bulls, the ram 60, the male goat 60, the male lamb a year old 60. This was the dedication offering for the altar after it was anointed. And when Moses went into the tent of meeting to speak with the Lord, he heard the voice speaking to him from above the mercy seat, that was on the Ark of the Testimony from between the two cherubim, and it spoke to him. Numbers chapter 8, the seven lamps. Now the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron, and say to him, When you set up the lamps, the seven lamps shall give light in front of the lampstand. And Aaron did so. He set up its lamps in front of the lampstand, as the Lord had commanded Moses. And this was the workmanship of the lampstand, hammered work of gold, from its base to its flowers, it was hammered work according to the pattern that the Lord had shown Moses, so he made the lamp stand. Cleansing of the Levites And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take the Levites from among the people of Israel and cleanse them. Thus you shall do to them to cleanse them. Sprinkle the water of purification upon them, and let them go with a razor over all their body, and wash their clothes and cleanse themselves. Then let them take a bull from the herd and its grain offering, a fine flour mixed with oil, and you shall take another bull from the herd of forest and offering. And you shall bring the Levites before the tent of meeting and assemble the whole congregation of the people of Israel. When you bring the Levites before the Lord, the people of Israel shall lay their hands on the Levites. And Aaron shall offer the Levites before the Lord as a wave offering from the people of Israel, that they may do the service of the Lord. Then the Levites shall lay their hands on the heads of the bulls, and you shall offer the one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering to the Lord to make atonement for the Levites. And you shall set the Levites before Aaron and his sons, and shall offer them as a wave offering to the Lord. Thus you shall separate the Levites from among the people of Israel, and the Levites shall be mine. And after that the Levites shall go in to serve at the tent of meeting when you have cleansed them and offered them as a wave offering. For they are wholly given to me from among the people of Israel. Instead of all who open the womb, the firstborn of all the people of Israel, I have taken them for myself. For all the firstborn among the people of Israel are mine, both of male and of beast. On the day that I struck down all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I consecrated them for myself, and I have taken the Levites instead of all the firstborn among the people of Israel. I have given the Levites as a gift to Aaron and his sons from among the people of Israel to do the service to the people of Israel at the tent of meeting and to make atonement for the people of Israel that there may be no plague among the people of Israel when the people of Israel come near the sanctuary. Thus did Moses and Aaron and all the congregation of the people of Israel to the Levites. According to all that the Lord commanded Moses concerning the Levites, the people of Israel did to them. And the Levites purified themselves from sin and washed their clothes, and Aaron offered them as a wave offering before the Lord. And Aaron made atonement for them to cleanse them. And after that, the Levites went in to do their service in the tent of meeting before Aaron and his sons, as the Lord had commanded Moses concerning the Levites, so they did to them. Retirement of the Levites. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, This applies to the Levites. From twenty-five years old and upward, they shall come to do duty in the service of the tent of meeting and from the age of 50 years they shall withdraw they shall withdraw from the duty of the service and serve no more they minister to their brothers in the tent of meeting by keeping guard but they shall do no service thus shall you do to the levites in assigning their duties okay so that is the end of numbers chapter 8 and we are going to stop there for today and i will see you all again tomorrow morning and i thank you all for watching and have a blessed day